Good morning guys! So today I want to talk about the Everyday Witch Tarot and the Everyday Witch Oracle. The biggest reason I want to talk about these is because I bought these a while back and probably had looked at them briefly um, and put them on my shelf thinking they'd be my Halloween decks. But I've been watching a lot of Instagram posts on them and I'd watched another video by Boho Tarot and I really wanted to explore them again and I kind of did a little bit yesterday and so I want to do it with you guys to show you how great they are. I think they're really underrated and I think they're awesome and especially the oracle. I think it's got really broad and I really enjoyed looking at the imagery and I'm definitely going to bring this out a little more often. So I want us to take a look together. So if you want to see more, stay tuned. So like I mentioned before, I'm really thinking these are not just Halloween decks. So let's take a look. So we have the Everyday Witch Tarot and the Everyday Witch Oracle. Which, can I just point out that she's got purple hair. And I always have purple hair on and off throughout the year. I kind of go from pink to blue to purple on and off. So that right there is pretty freaking awesome. So, it comes in one of these magnetic boxes, which we will have to open up here. Watch the camera. Watch the candles. <laughs> um, it comes with this really great book, which I did look over when I was doing a reading yesterday. If you want to check out on um, my Instagram, I did post some pictures of the Oracle and of my reading with this, and that is at Tarotnat. T-A-R-O-T and A-T-T. -T. And then the cards are inside the box with the string and the thumb holes. So let's get this box out of the way and we can have a little bit more room. So this is the book. It's actually really great if I can get it in the whole shot here. Woo! Camera issues. Um, it has really large card imagery and when I was actually playing around with it yesterday, it's actually really cool because the card image is actually the same card, actually this is the card I pulled yesterday, um, as basically the card from the deck. So, that's really neat. See? Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, and then it has this great write-up for each card. And that's in the majors and the minors, which I thought was pretty cool. So this is, I believe, a Llewellyn Publishing. Yes, it's a Llewellyn Publishing. So that's great. So the book is actually really awesome. And then on the back, you can see the cards. Anyway, really great book. And I, you know, I'm definitely going to use it as I work through the deck. Because I'm still learning, I definitely am still reading the books. As I go. So this is the tarot. And I definitely as I work with it probably. I'm going to work with it on and off. But as I spend time with it. Definitely in the fall. I think I'm going to edge it. If you have any recommendations for what color. Might be nice on the sides. Let me know. Um, but this is a beautiful deck. So it definitely is shuffled. So it's not in order. But I love how the hangman's hanging from the broomstick. I think that's really cool. And the key in the hand, which I never noticed until Boho Taro had pointed it out. So I think that's really cool. And I love me a death card. And the cats in each of the photos are pretty much in each of the photos. I don't see one in the hangman, but I definitely do in the death card. And I think there's a cat in most of the photos, which I think is really cool. And I love all the smoke. I think that's really cool. And I love how she has one eye open, one eye closed, the cupcakes. You know, and that's definitely my battle right now. The junk food versus the healthy food for temperance. And I gotta say, normally the devil is like a grown man, a grown woman, and tempted. This devil card definitely gives me the creeps. Look at that creeper with the kids. And the little girl is like... Looking at the little boy like, oh my god, get me out of here. And I love the power 
of the tower and she's like yep i did that i'm gonna destroy things so i can rebuild them better and then the little kitten look at how scared the little kitten is and the tornado in the back that's so cool on the strength card And I love how she's, like, stressed out from her reading in this Nine of Swords. Because, man, I know when I was in school, I was stressed out all the time. Well, not that I'm not now, but. <laughs> and she's reaching for the broom. She's trying to fix it. As the guy's getting away and the cat's going for the cat. Like, the cat's in a scared position, like, I'm gonna get you. And even the crow. And look at that falling feather. A page of swords and his backpack's open so there's knowledge falling out so he's still learning the knight of swords so i'm liking this also there's a lot of men or boys in this deck too so i think it's great for females and males or non-binary however you want to do it i think it's got a lot of range there's younger there's middle age there's some older people this is a really well-rounded deck and I love how it's not just based in one area. Like you have the beach scenes. You have your garden scenes. Like it really can be placed anywhere in the world. I absolutely love this fool card. I feel like she could totally be me like, let's go and see what's going to happen. Like, this magician, you actually don't know the gender. I feel like you don't know the gender. At all. And this yoga card for the Hierophant. I love the pinks and the purples in the fire in this lover's card. It's really Sorry about that, guys. So here we go. So we have the chariot. I love how she's on a motorcycle and she doesn't know this way or that way. The Knight of Wands is really interesting, too. As he's flying away, but he's making magic. And he also has the dragon over here. So there's a lot to go with if you like that type of imagery. The Page of Wands. I love a little orange cat in the back. My sister had an orange cat for a while. And this hermit. This hermit is gorgeous. You know, she still has the flame. She's still out meditating in the middle of nowhere. There's the owl up above, which I totally connect to the hermit. So pretty. And so there's some astrology in the emperor, which is cool. As well as you can see the stars in the sky. And he's still strong. And I like how he's older. I definitely see the emperor as definitely a Fogather figure. And with age, usually, it's how I like to see him. The Four of Swords. And she's just taking a rest. And she's okay with her spider webs and just taking time. And the Aces are usually my favorite cards. And I love this Ace. Like, yeah, it's Ace of Wands, so the wand is standing out. But it's like the opportunity of doing anything and everything being open to her. And she can just choose whatever she wants out of all the things floating. Again, the two of wands. You know, and I love how they're like, a lot of the characters are holding wands and making magic. And there's a gecko. Oh my god, I have two geckos. There's a little red gecko. That's so cute. And another gecko. Oh my god, there's lots of geckos in this wand suit. I'm in love. And all the cat, which is great for the four wands because that's the celebration card. Oh, look at all that beautiful lavender smoke. That's so pretty. So sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to my camera setup. I set up a new one for this video today. My other one kind of broke. So, you know, getting used to this. But I think this will work. Ten of Pentacles. Or, sorry, two of Pentacles. Wow. And the Infinity Sign. And I love how we have the three of Pentacles and they're all done differently. And they're done, like, artistically. That's really pretty. And 
like he's holding those so close to himself like I've got something important and you're not getting it and I like how this is different it's not necessarily standing right outside of a church that they're freezing and they're left out but it's just outside of a home maybe or a restaurant or whatever but they're definitely outside in the cold so I like how this is done a little bit differently and the cat's with them oh the poor kitty And I love how this is very generational. Like I said, I love how, to me, this deck is super inclusive, especially with age diversity and race diversity. This deck does a pretty good job. The Wheel of Fortune, she's definitely got some options there. And look at how happy she is. She's like, yep, I got choices. I got things I can do. The High Priestess. The Empress. And I like how there's still lots of things growing. She's pregnant. She's got a dog and a cat. She's blindly going for what she needs to go for. Which I think is cool. And the Two of Swords. And the Three of Cups. I like how this is actually... To me, that looks really gender diverse. Like, it could almost be the daughter, the mother, and the grandmother, which I haven't seen in a lot of the decks that I have. It's usually three younger women, or they're like teenage girls almost, or women in their 20s. And I like how this is different. They're all different ages. And there's also the three cats, and there's lots of fish. That's really cool. And gotta tell you, I love these little heart bubbles. It's so pretty in the Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups, she's got stuff. And that's the other thing, like I mentioned earlier, like really this deck is placed anywhere. Like there's mountains, there's grasslands, there's beaches. And again, the Ace of Swords, like I love these Ace cards. Because normally the Ace cards is like a hand holding the item. But in these ones, it's actually like the person holding the item. So there's actually people in the Ace cards, which is different. Look at all the people in the Six of Wands. And again, very generational. She's got the high ground. She's ready for a battle. She's figuring it out in the Eight of Wands. I guess these weren't shuffled as well as I had anticipated. The Nine of Wands. She's injured, but she's got this. She's defeated people. She's got this. She's injured, but she's got it. Her head's on the ground. Their wands are all smoking, but she's got this. The cat's in the background. Eight of Pentacles, which is usually making things, and she's making her potions. Nine of Pentacles. I love how she's sitting in her garden, and her garden's even on her dress, and she's got red or pink in her hair. She's enjoying her wine. Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Very familiar. Lots of family. Knight of Pentacles. I love how the cat's like right there on his broom with him. Again, an older gentleman for a King of Pentacles, which I like for my kings and queens. And she's got her gray hair, so she's totally comfortable with who she is. And she's got all cats at her feet. She's taking a load off. Page of Pentacles. Figuring out his journey. Again, another queen that's aged. So this is really cool. And I love this judgment card. Like she's still got the little trumpet. She's going along like she's going to figure it out. And the cat's dancing. And she's at the beach in the world. Like, I got the world at my fingertips. Six of swords. He's running behind these people, almost trying to get past them. With the wind blowing ahead of him. Like, I'm getting away with all this stuff. Oops. Seven of swords. 
Justice. I like this Justice card, the black and the white cat, and even says Law in the book. Ace of Cups. So again, another Ace card with the person right in there, which is really cool. I'm surprised that the Ace of Cups isn't around like, now that I look at it, there is water in the background, but it's not a super watery image. Like I almost imagined this one to be a beachy image. Or definitely more of a river image. So that's interesting. And another river image for the Eight of Cups. So this is kind of more what I pictured for the Ace of Cups at the beach. But that's really cool. Ten of Cups. Lots of family. Which makes sense. Two of Cups. One of my favorite cards, the Three of Swords, which I think is different. Normally, it's like a really obvious heart in the middle of the card. And it's a bleeding heart. And it's in a box of candy, you know. And she's got her journal. So, she's still got her heart broken or he got his heart broken. But they're writing about it. And maybe they got so upset writing about it that they left. And they left their ink spilling all over the bed. Man, that would be a mess. <laughs> all I can think of is a mess. I like this star card, and I like how her magic from her fingers are different colors. And is it just me? Or are you guys seeing that goldfish kind of looks upside down like it's dead? That's weird. The moon, I love how the little cat envisions himself as the big cat, you know? Like they say small dog complex. <laughs> small cat complex, but the witch is in the back. The sun, with all the sunflowers, page of cups, very creative, ten of wands, like, I'm going to do this, no matter how hard it is, I'm going to do this. At least she knew enough to put some backwards and forwards to, but man, that would be a hard travel. King of wands, again, an older gray gentleman, I really like that. And he's teaching the cat, which I think is really cool. And then again, the Queen of Wands. Look at how, like, she's in con she's so in control in this card. So that is the Everyday Witch Tarot. If we can get it back in order here. Oh, Lord. I've made a mess. So yeah, any recommendations on guilting it myself and what colors people may have used? Let me know, because I think I definitely want to do that with this deck. So this really, for me, is the star of the show. As much as I love the tarot, yesterday when I was flipping through the oracle, man, I was really falling in love with it. It doesn't come with the big book, but it still comes with a nice little book. And it's really, really well done. I gotta say, it's really well done. So sample spreads and then the cards. So each card has all of this. So it's like about how to use the card. So it's actually quite a bit per card, which I really like. And the book is nice, nice thicker laminated cover. And it's by the same people, if I haven't mentioned it, it's by Deborah Blake and the art is by Elizabeth Alba. A nice two piece box. And more cats. Oh, and this is the back of the box. So if we want to compare the two cards side by side, those are the back, so they still kind of match pretty good. And this is the side of the tarot versus the oracle cards. So that's the size. Um, before we get into the Oracle cards though, I went to the fabric store yesterday and got a whole bunch of fabric for some decks that I know have coming in or some decks I already have. I really wanna work more on making some of my own bags. Even though I love Peggy bags, I've been working on trying to make some of my own. So this is the fabric that I got for Everyday Witch Oracle. I think it's so pretty. I was looking for the dark blue. I didn't have the deck with me, but I think it still goes pretty good. You know, 
with the colorations. Anyway, I just love this. So I got two of the quilting fat quarters, I believe they're called. And the shop was really cool. They had them all in these little folded up triangles. And so I could just pick whichever ones I want. And the people there were super great. Um, they let they let me pick even other materials that were still on rolls. And then let me, um, they cut them for me. And this was at Savvy Makers in Ottawa. But, um, yeah, so this is definitely what I'm going to be using for the outside of my bags. I got one for the Oracle and one for the Tarot. So let's get to this Oracle deck. So go with the flow. She's just relaxed. That's actually the cover of the box, which I just realized. Affirmations for positive change. So looking out onto the horizon, finding better things, leaving things behind that don't fit you and figuring out what does and going with that. That dress in the background I just noticed and that's great. Affirmations for healing the heart. And I just love this daughter crying to her father about whatever broke her heart or upset her. Because, man, I did that to my dad a couple of times before. And, yeah, a dad's understanding is everything. Learn from life. So going out into the world and learning from it. Which really is the only way you're going to learn is by going out and experiencing things. Can we talk about those that jacket and leggings? And then she's got the pink on her hat. Like, it matches perfectly. Gotta love a good outfit. Tears of joy and sadness. And she's looking at herself crying, but she's okay with it. Because you can see how she's really sad here, but she's looking back smiling like, it's okay. You gotta feel the feelings transformation of change and man I really see myself in this card like the leather jacket I have a fake one but I have one and I have boots that are similar to that like just going out and doing what you got to do she's taking charge affirmations for acceptance fate for figuring it out for yourself like just because someone laid a plan out for you doesn't mean you're gonna follow it Affirmation for growth, and she's got the plant, so that totally makes sense. Accept love. You know, and that's work we all got to do, right? Accepting love. Side note, I just started reading The Self-Worth Path by Lisa Pappas, and this card totally reminds me of that as I'm about to start the body acceptance section of the book. Listening to Wisdom. Imagine and envision. And she's definitely doing so. So I love how she's doing everything in her book and then it's all coming to fruition. Cleansing and... Oh, sorry. Cleansing body and spirit. Taking a nice warm hot bath. And that tub, isn't that tub gorgeous? Sun and the stars. Meditation for clarity. I think that's really pretty by the pool. And she's even got stuff burning. This is really cool too. So this is one of the things that I noticed that I posted on my Instagram was they have the four elements and they have it in magic. So you have your air magic. Oh, I guess I don't have them organized anymore. But you'll see them as we go through Hibernation and regeneration. I think that's really cool because, man, don't we all need that? And I love how the crystals are coming out. Give love. Here, fire magic. I love her little outfit, too. So she's definitely more modern of a witch. Which is, and I love that big fluffy cat. Oh, I'm totally a cat person. I wish I wasn't allergic. And earth magic. And again, gender diversity, like older women, like these are not just young girls, but I find a lot of decks have. Water magic, inspiration and courage. Like, and you gotta look inside yourself for that, which I really feel is reflected in that card. 
This is the card I pulled for myself the other day, which, you know, really spoke to me. I had a great day and I got to be thankful for the really great days. Seasonal harvest. And I love how she's in the garden. Look at the crescent moon as she's digging things up. It's like a scythe. It's really cool. Make a move, dancing in the river. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> Plant the seeds. I worked in a garden for many, 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 many years. As my dad has a huge, had a huge garden in our backyard. Given to passion. So the music, look at her long flowy dress. And the like leopard cat in the back. Oh, steal my heart. Healing waters. And it's actually a fox instead of a cat. That's different. And we got a guy, which is cool. Meditation for peace and serenity. Oh my god, he's under the water meditating. And you can feel the little air bubbles and the turtle and their air bubbles. That's so cool. Change and progress. You got to go through it. You got to go through the rough stuff to get to the easy stuff. I think that's great Pray prayers and wishes the wishing well that's so cool ground and center feet on the ground but we're going from the ground to air that's really well done speak your mind so no matter who it is you got to speak your mind which I think is great because I think a lot of times, you know, with respect your elders. But you know what? Sometimes elder doesn't mean what it used to mean. Elders are not always right. So sometimes you got to speak your mind no matter what. Follow your dreams. Oh, the moonlight. Like getting ready to go out. Prosperity and abundance. She's definitely got abundance. Meditation to dig deep. Yeah, and gardening is definitely digging deep and finding your crystals. Sometimes you got to dig deep inside yourself to get where you want to go. I feel like this is the sexy card in the deck, if that's the right term. She's coming out and she's, the dolphins are playing in the background. Rebirth and reinvention. And all the little turtles are growing in. Like, it's just a beautiful card. Strength and resilience. Yeah, she's got it. And it's interesting how you have the little cat laying down and then the bigger cat on top. And the wind blowing and I love how the leaves match her dress. Really thought out and like lots of stones. Connect with Gaia and we've got, we can see through the earth and see her magic as well as the tree magic. So that's interesting. Joy and delight. She's upside down. She's playing. She's got the cartwheel. We've got cats and dogs. She's got a picnic in the background. Like, she's just going to have a great day. And meditation and clarity. What I think is really interesting because you have the dark colors in the bottom and the bright colors up here. But the dog and the cat are both painting, which I think is really interesting. Meditation and creativity. So there we go, guys. So that is both of the Everyday Witch Tarot and the Everyday Witch Oracle. And definitely whatever I edge the tarot in, I probably will edge the Oracle in. So again, give me any thoughts. Um, I definitely love both these decks. They're really cool. And I know people in the past probably have done tons of videos on them. But I feel like recently there's not a ton of videos. And, you know, people want to see stuff that's recent. At least I do. I enjoy watching recent videos, whether they're decks that have been out for a while or decks that just came out. So, you know, if you have any more questions, let me know or comments or whatever. Leave them down below. Um, but, yeah, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot and Oracle. And I love it and can't wait to make my bags for it. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!